Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will cover chapter 3 for market equilibrium and the price mechanism. Here we will see that how the equilibrium could be achieved in the markets through what we call the price mechanism. Any market has two dimensions or two powers. The first is a demand. If you demand something, then you do the following. You want it. You can afford it. And you have made a definite plan to buy it. Wants are the unlimited desires or wishes people have for goods and services. Demand reflects a decision about which wants to satisfy. However, the quantity demanded of a good or services is the amount that consumers plan to buy during a particular time period and at a particular price. Demand Demand curve and demand the schedule could be represented as following. The term demand refers to entire relationship between the price of any good and the quantity required or demanded or purchased of this good. The demand curve shows the relationship between the quantity demanded of a good and its price when all other influences or factors which could affect the consumer plan to purchase remain the same or as we call in economics citrus paribus. Here we can see that demand the schedule and at the same time, demand curve. We look for the relationship between price per dollars of bars and the quantity demanded measured in millions of bars per week. Here we're looking for demand for energy bars. Look what we have in this slide. The price is increasing from half to 2.5 dollars. Quantity decreased from 22 to 5. We can see this in points A, B, C, D and E. This represents the negative relationship. Now, if you connect these points, we have what we can call it demand curve. This is downward sloping. The quantity demanded could it change according to the change in the price. But what could shift the demand? The whole curve. We have many factors for this. This factor could change the demand. Here we have six of them. The price of related goods. What could happen if the price of other goods changes? how this could affect the demand of our good. Assume that the demand we're looking for is a demand of tea and there is a change in the price of coffee. This will affect the quantity demanded of tea. These two goods 
are related. They are substitutes. What about if the sugar price changes? This will affect the demand for tea because there is a relationship between sugar and tea. They are complements. Second factor, expected future prices. If we expect the prices will change in the future, this could change our plan today for purchasing. Income. If income increased, we expect that. In common cases, demand will increase. If income decreased, we expect that demand will decrease. Expected future income and availability of funds, what we call it credit. This will affect the plans for purchasing. So this is could affect the demand and shift it. Population. This could refer to the size of the demand or size of the market. So that increase in population mainly associated with increase in demand and vice versa. Preferences. If the preference of some goods increased, assume in this case people now prefer more tea because new research show this is very good for health and long life, we expect that people will demand more of the tea and the curve will shift to the right to represent an increase. Here we will see that what could happen to the demand. We assume that the income increased. What could happen to the demand? In this table we can see that the old information for price and the quantity for all income. This represents by blue line. If we assume that the income changed by increase as we have in the second half of the table, so quantity demanded for all level of price will be higher as we can see if you look to the figure we can see that there is a shift to the right to represent the increase in the demand quantity demanded here in this graph we can see that increase and decrease in quantity demanded the reason behind is the change in the price. But we could have increase in demand, which means shift of the whole demand, or decrease in demand, which means shift to left for the whole demand. This could be resulted from what we explained before, the six factors we mentioned in the previous slide. You should differentiate between decrease and increase in quantity demanded, movement along the curve, and increase and decrease in demand itself as a whole, which means a shift in the demand. Now we turn to the second part of the power in the market supply. 
This represents the power of production. Firms, organizations, wish responsible for producing goods and providing services. If a firm supplies a good or service, then the firm has the resources and the technology to produce it. Can achieve profit because mainly the target for any firm is to achieve a higher level of profit. Has made a definite plan to produce and sell this product. Resources and technology determine what is possible to produce. Supply reflects a decision about which technology should be visible to be used to produce the product we are willing to produce. The quantity supplied of a good or service is the amount that producers plan to sell during a given time period at a particular price. Usually this is the price in the market. Supply curve and supply schedule. The term supply refers to the entire relationship between the quantity supplied and the price of a good. The supply curve shows the relationship between the quantity supplied of a good and its price when all other influences on producer planned sales remain the same. Here we have an example for supply curve of energy powers. To see the other side of the demand for energy parts. Here we concentrate about how the quantity supplied could it change according to changing the price exists in the market. And here we are willing to see the willingness or desire of producer to offer a specific quantity according to existing price. look to these points from A to E, we can see that we can link them. To transfer the supply table to supply curve, this shows positive relationship. This positive relationship means when the price is increasing, quantity demanded will increase. A rise in the price, other things remaining the same, brings an increase in the quantity supply. There is many factors could result in a shift in the supply curve. But between these variables or factors, we select only six to show their impact on the supply curve. The prices of factor of production. If the factor of production like labor or raw material, a change it, this could change the supply itself because the cost of production changes. The price of related goods are produced. This will affect 
the supply curve. Code shifted to right and code shifted to left. According to the type of the relationship between these goods. Expected future prices. If we expect the prices will increase in the future, this will affect our plans for producing today and offering our products in the market or to keep it in inventory until the prices increase and sell it in the market. The number of suppliers. Number of suppliers will determine the maximum of unit could be supplied in the market and any change in the number of suppliers will result in a change in the supply itself. Technology. Technology will determine the maximum production for a specific good according to the availability of other resources. State of nature. This is something like the weather. If the weather is good, so the tomato harvest will be reasonably high. If the weather is not good, so the harvest of tomato will not be high. And this will affect the supply of tomato in the market. Here we will see that what could happen if we introduced a new technology to the market and how this could affect the supply side. The blue line represents the old case. Now we assume that according to the new technology, the high technology, we expect that supply will increase because a new technology mainly provides a higher level of production. And this is, as we can see here, the shift from the blue to the red, which means we shift it to the right. Here we will see the difference between increase and decrease in quantity supplied which occurred because there is a change in the price only and the increase and decrease in the supply itself the curve as whole which already could happen because any of the previous six factors we explained We can have increase in supply, which means shifted to right, and decrease in supply, which represents then shifted to left. And both of them represent in red color curves S1 and S2. And we can see that. If the price remained the same, but some other influence on seller's plan changes, supply changes, and the supply curve shifts. For sure to right or to left. Market equilibrium. The magic of market equilibrium and force it that bring it about and they keep the market there need to be demonstrated with the basic diagram with intuition and if you have got the time with the hard evidence in the form of future and further activities you might want to begin with the demand curve 
experiment and explain that it the market and then the supply and so on equilibrium in the market determined by a situation in which opposing forces balance each other equilibrium in a market occurs when the price balances the plans of buyers and sellers the equilibrium price is the price at which the quantity demanded equal the quantity supplied the equilibrium quantity is the quantity bought and sold at equilibrium price price regulates buying and selling plans price adjusts when plans don't match let us return back to the case of supply and demand for energy bars we will see that from the table at price half quantity demanded 22 units quantity supplied is zero they are not equal so there is no equilibrium if the price increased to 1, quantity demanded decreased to 15, quantity supplied increased to 6, so they became more closer, but until now, they are not equal. We didn't achieve equilibrium. When the price increased to $1.5, quantity demanded decreased to become 10 units. And the quant supply increased until it became 10 units. Now quantity demand equal quantity supply. So we achieved equilibrium. Equilibrium price is one dollar and a half, while equilibrium quantity is 10 units. Thank you.